Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will talk about the function of breather in transformer. Breather is a cylindrical container which is present in on oil fin transformers having a conservator tank. So the breather is present in on oil fin transformers that have a conservator tank. Before going to the explanation of breather, it is important to know about the conservator. Conservator tank is present at the top of transformer main tank and it is connected with the main tank through a pipe line. Here you can see this is the conservator and it is connected with the main transformer tank through a pipe line. Oil filled in the conservator is almost half of the available space. So you can see in the diagram that the transformer tank is completely filled with the oil, whereas oil present in the conservator is almost half of the available space. During the overloading condition, oil present in the main tank of transformer gets heated and expands. So when the load on the transformer increases, the oil present in the main tank of transformer also gets heated and expands. Now for the expansion, oil needs a space and that space is provided by the conservator. The next point is the same, conservator provides the available vacant space to the expanded oil. So when the load on the transformer increases, the oil in the main tank of transformer gets heated and expands. For expansion, it needs a space and that space is provided by the conservator. Moving forward, when the load decreases and transformer oil cools down, it comes back to the transformer tank from the conservator. So during the normal conditions when the transformer oil cools down, it comes back to the transformer tank from the conservator. Once the oil contracts, the, atmosphere, the atmospheric air comes inside the conservator and fills the available vacant space. So during the normal conditions, when the oil from the conservator comes back to the transformer tank, the vacant space in the conservator is filled by the atmospheric air. Similarly, air exits the conservator during the expansion of oil. And when the transformer oil gets heated and expands, it needs a space that is provided by the conservator. And during that period, atmospheric air exits through the conservator. So this is how this phenomena works. Now coming back to the breather, breather is attached with the conservator through a bent pipe in such a way that the atmospheric air enters and exits the conservator tank through it. So have you, as you can see in the diagram, this is the conservator and the cylindrical container is the breather which is attached with the conservator through a bent pipe. One problem is that the air coming from the atmosphere contains the dust particles and humidity. So when the dust particles and moisture comes in contact with the transformer oil present in the conservator tank, it degrades the dielectric strength of oil which may end up with the insulation properties of transformer oil. So when the dust particles and moisture mix with the transformer oil which is present in the conservator, it affects the insulation properties of transformer oil which ultimately affect the working of transformer. So in order to avoid the insulation failure of transformer oil, it is necessary to remove these particles from the air and for that reason we used a breather. Now let's discuss the function of breather. 
Breather is filled with the silica gel crystals which absorb the moisture from the atmospheric air. Here you can see in the diagram these are the silica gel crystals which absorb the moisture from the atmospheric air. However, one disadvantage of a silica gel crystals is that it doesn't remove the dust particles from the air. In order to remove the dust particles from the air, a small oil box is placed below the breather cylinder. In the diagram, you can see the oil cup is present below the silica gel crystals. The oil in the box removes the dust particles from the air. In this way, air enters in the conservator tank is free from moisture and dust particles. So, in the breather, silica gel crystals is used to remove the moisture from the atmospheric air, whereas oil removes the dust particles from the atmospheric air. Hence, we can say that the breather acts as a medium for providing moisture and dust-free air to the conservator tank and maintains the proper functioning of transformer. So this is how the breather works. Replacement of breather. One more thing to be noted that during the normal conditions, the color of silica gen crystals are blue. If the color of silica gen changes from blue to pink, it indicates that the silica gen has been saturated and does not absorb the moisture anymore. In that case, replacement needs to be done. So, as you can see in the diagram, during the normal conditions, the color of silica gen crystals is blue. However, if the color changes from blue to pink, it means that now silica gen crystals are unable to absorb the moisture from the atmospheric air. So, in that case, replacement of breather needs to be done for the proper absorption of moisture from the atmospheric air so that it doesn't affect the insulation properties of transformer oil. So that's on from the breather. Moreover, if you want to read the breather article or you can study or you want to study the parts of a transformer in detail, I will provide you the link in the description. That's it. Hope this will help you and thanks for watching. Subscribe the channel if you like the video. Thanks.